Ou Barham TV. Yes. Secrétaire Bibi Nyo Namo de Barham. Moumou Barham TV. Radiallahu ta'ala na sahab Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah al-ali al-azim. La himma tashaf ahdiri wa la nabi al-mahabari. تعطيه نظرة تأتي أنا بظهر بعد أحمد الله حضرات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Shall I be going to read from one of the khutbah include many advice from Sheikh Wahim Radalano Muhammad that is not in Jawara Sal he's in جزء الثالث خطب الشيخ أبتا الحمد لله الذي خلق الإنسان من تراب he said he praised Allah تبارك وتعالى who created the mankind from the dust from the dust but he put on him روح from the Hadra to Quds. And when, whenever we say Hadra to Quds, Hadra to Quds is the Hadra of Allah wa You know, after Allah put the Ruh in Adam alayhi salam, He said to the angels, فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدٍ After I met him, and blow from my soul to him, go make sujood for him. You know that sujood is not for ibadah, but it's sujood of, to show the respect. But he then asked them to make sujood for his body before he put the soul in him. So from that, you know, the human being his degrees come from, from his ruh because the ruh come from the hadra of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Say Allah has met his human being from the earth but he put ruh on him that ruh is from the hadra al quds <laughs> And we say Hadrat al-Quds is Hadrat Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And he said after that Allah revealed Quran to him. To have conversation with him. To give him orders. Whoever follows instruction of Quran, he will be among the best of creation. Who disobey, he will come to be among the wild evils. But Allah said, Allah mentioned human being, and He said, Ulaikahum khairul bariyati. But He said also, Ulaikahum sharul bariyati. From this, you know, the human, the, the man, or human being, they can reach to the levels that they better than the creations, all the creation. But they can go down to the level that even the animals, they better than them. If they can be better than angels because angels, nothing calling them to do bad things. They have only one side to do good. So if human being who able to do good and do bad, if doing if he's doing only good things, he will come to be Khairul Bariyat. But if he follow the nafs and the bad things, he will come to be Sharul Bariyati. So those people, even the animals, they're better than them because animals have no 
intellect that can they can use to follow the orders. Allah makes them only one way. So that's why also human beings they can be the Khalifa of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. He said it's obligation for him to make effort until he will have the characters of good, have good characters. Because Allah met him, met him from different characters. But Allah said, Fi suratin masha arakabak, into which form that Allah met him. He met him from all the characters. If you follow the good things, nobody will get from him except good. Follow good things. Whenever he have something good, he will look for better than that. Whenever he grow, he have one maqam today, he will try to get more than that. But if he follow the other side, he will cite also anything he do is not enough for him. He need to do more than that. That's why in some human being can be animals, can be a shaitan, can be evils can be any like animals, like lions, but he can be an angel also. If he follow the nafs, follow his desires, his stomach, his sexual private, he will come to be like animals. If he tricking peoples who come to be like a shaitan. <clears throat> if he followed his anger, he will come to be like a lion. But if he busy to purify his nafs and try to reach to the level of the angels come to be like angels. You know, the person when he is fast, is like angels because the angels, they don't eat, they don't drink. So eating and drink, it will call you to others' desires. That's why Sheikh Ram in another put by he said, the, the benefit of the big people is not from what they eat. It's not from their time. Rebhul akabiri fi awqatihim la fi aqwatihim. What benefit they get from the time? That is the benefit for them. It's not what food they eat, but what they do for Allah wa Taala, what they do to increase their knowledge, what they do to increase their heart to be better. That's why some action make them like angels, some action make them like animals. From this, you know, all this goodness that he has is not from him to him. Because if it was from him to him, he will never change. So that means there is something else that from it he can be better. He can be superior to other things. 
that is only his connection to Allah Taala. When he connected to the Hadr of Allah Taala, he be better. If he forgot, it's something else. As what Sheikh Ibrahim said in another khutbah, risala we learn, he said, "Al Abdu ma dam yazkurullah fa huwa wali." He said, "The servant of Allah, why he mentioning Allah in that particular time?" He's the wali of Allah, he's the friend of Allah. But whenever he forget about zikr, he's something else. So that's why you have to try to mention Allah in all your actions, in all your situation. That's that the hal of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He used to mention Allah in all his situation. For you to know, if you mention him, you are wali because the time you mentioning him, he mentioning you. And wali is mean Allah's friend. If anybody get letter from uh, his president, he would see how oh, the president is my friend because he sent me this letter, this that. So you wanna get letter from Allah anytime? Engage with zikr. La yazalu lisanu karatban bidikrillah. So if you have the characters of the angel, you be better than angels. Because it was possible for you to go down and if you fight your nerves to reach to them, that means you're better than them. Some people, they will say, how is better than angels? It's better than angels. That's why Allah choose him as a Khalifa. The angel, they better. Allah will choose angels, make them Khalifa. Allah them make Angels a Khalifa of Allah Taala, because they can, they can receive something, something not, but human be they can be able to receive everything. So if he have their characters, he's better than them. Then he said he have to have. The characters of Sharia, Saban, because when we say that he's bad in angels, that means he's following the Sharia, Muhammadiyah, and his nafs will never call him to do anything differ from that. He said, if, for example, if if anybody among us fasting, of course your nafs cannot call you to drinks or to eat, you leave all that because you're following the that Sharia. So if you're able to be in like that in that situation all the time, you'll be something else. We we'll never call you to have sexual up you know relations to anybody. That's why he said it's indeed it's obligation to you know to to do effort first of all because you climbing up if you're going up you make sure that you will you will you will you will face some hard time but if you're going down it's very easy he said now if you have like a rocks, you want to put it to the world, just put it, you will go like this. But you have rock down the world, you want to bring it, you have to use something and go with this and make sure you will follow it until you get to it. It's different when you want to climb. If somebody want to go down now, he just jump and go. He will kill himself, but he will jump and go. But different from coming up. Coming up is not easy, but it's more beneficial. It's like that if you following Allah wa Taala, you fighting nafs because the nafs also is in front of you because he don't want you to be free and show that if you 
Believe it, you will be free. So uh, from that, you know, that the person, the murid, he needs companions to his way to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He say, "Who wanna climb up?" Of course, he needs companions. Like you wanna bring this rock from down up, you have to use something to help to bring it. But throw it just, even if you put it front, it will take it itself. For the person to follow his desires, it's like it's like normal for him. It's something that he has it, so he don't need effort to to follow the nafs. But if you want to go to Allah Taala, you need effort to do it. Allah said, Ya Ayulayna wa taqullaha wa abtahu ilayhi al-wasilata. Fear Allah and find the wasila who is going to help you to get to Allah. Because you need, you need help. Even thinking about good things. Sometimes, if you think about good things, if you don't have good friends, he can't change you. So I want to go to visit such and such. Yeah. Don't worry, you know, we, we'll see him tomorrow. This is this, uh, you know, I want to help him. You know, he don't need that. Uh, why are you helping him? You have to work. It's something like that. But if you talk to somebody who encourages you, you will do it. I want to help him. Yes, yes, of course, we have to do something for our brother. And he will bring something else. Put that we encourage you to do. But for the bad things, it's very easy to, because before even the brothers, Shaitan is there. Whenever you want to do something, Shaitan is there to tell you why you do this. Why you, you don't need to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why you need a companion to 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 the way to Allah Taala. Ya ayyulam taqulla wa taqu ilayl wasila. Ya ayyulam taqulla wa kunu maasadikin. Fa Allah and be with truthful peoples. Because they hal also will give you power. Being around good people will make you good easily. You do it without feeling it. Yeah. I give you one example. Now, if you want to pray all night and you have some brothers, you pray together, you don't even feel sleep. You don't sleep. But if you go alone, uh, Two raka, one raka, okay, you tie it, then Shaitan will tell you, okay, okay, just go sleep. This is not obligation. Why you do this? Why you do that? Okay, but if you have some people doing it, that will encourage you, make it. That is what Prophet said. He said, the good companions and the bad companion is like a person, somebody who selling the perfumes, either you can buy from them, or they give you a gift, or you just just have nice order from them. But the bad companion is like somebody who using fire. So either he can fire your clothes or you get dirty from them. So make sure you have good companion. Good friends is the one that if you forget, he will remind you. If you remember, he will encourage you to do. Even if you need help, he will help you. That's why the Sufi people, they said, Man lem Whoever get reached to the hal station with the Allah Taala, anybody be around them, they will never go empty without get something from them. See, sometimes you see somebody laughing, you just laugh. You don't know what he's laughing. You're laughing with him and asking what you're laughing. 
Some people, they can't see somebody cry until they cry. So uh, Ahwal also is like that. You see somebody who humbles, you know, generous, somebody respect people. You will go to the point that they think that you want to just follow that, but you, you do it because you learn it from somebody. Remember one day I wake up from this house and the thief come here and take the, the rums. And the boys, they rub him. When I come, I say, Asalaamu Alaikum. He acting like he's, he, he's, he, 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 he died. I said, answer me before I go to the mosque because if you don't, if you answer, you have chance. If you leave me go, maybe the boys, maybe they beat you better than this. I said, Asalaamu Alaikum. He said, Wa Alaikum Asalaam. I asked Mustafa what he was doing. He said, he was taking this ram. I said, this is for who? He said, it's for, for Sister Kubra. I said, okay, take it. I give it to you, Hadiya. He stopped some, some time before he can go. I don't know who he is. And the time I doing that, I don't remember that. I, 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 I see that one time with Sayyid Ali. But after some days, I remember that one day they bring a tip to say the Ali, he takes something from his farm and he give it to him and leave him go. So just to tell you, like being with a good people, you educated you without them to tell you this or that. That's why Anas, you know, his mother bring him to Prophet Sallallahu to work for him. He said he works for Prophet 10 years, you know, around that, they said nine years. He never asked him why you do this and why you didn't do that. Just, that's, what's that mean? And he was doing good things. Just, he, just examples. He has good examples from, from himself, from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So our example, all of us, our example is Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If we can't go direct to take from him, we don't need anybody. But we need them because we have some people who learn from him, not just learn, but they educated themselves from his hal. Because some people they inherit Prophet words, some people they inherit his actions, some people they reach to inherit his hal. If you be with them, you get that hal, even if you don't know where this comes from. That's the, that's the benefit of being with, with the good people. When we say good people, it's the people who fear Allah tabarakut Allah. When we say good people, they are the people who follow Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We say good people, they are people who connect themselves with Allah tabarakut Allah. Because if you feel Allah presence, you don't look to other things. Whenever you look to something else, that's mean you don't feel Allah's presence. But, you can't get to the levels that you will feel Allah's presence with everything you're doing. Then your ordinary action will come to be ibadah because you connect it to the real connection There's Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shaykh Ibrahim radallahu who said, he said, Abdullah will the told me. Of course he knows, but sometimes the ulama, they want to reverse a word to somebody. He said, Abdullah will have told me, Al Gharadu min Auradi Tijaniye, Shimburai Hatil Hatik al Muhammadi. He said, the benefit, the benefit of the Aurat of the Tariq al Tijaniye is to smell the reality of Rasulullah. So if you smell the reality of Rasulullah, that will, you know, will call you to that that's way. Because if you're walking now, you have, you smell nice perfume, you will look where, where, where this come from. So that will call you to, to follow it. So if you follow, if you smell the haqiqa Muhammadiyya, Allah wa sallam, so you can connect yourself with him in all your actions. <coughs> so he said to follow the nafs is, 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 is like something that is original with you. 
That's why the Sharia, he didn't put the nafs outside of all your life, but he will make it somewhere that is, is lawful for you to follow until even if you follow that, if you, if you, you know, fulfill your desires, you will have reward, reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you don't do it the way it's calling you, but you do it the way Allah gave you permission to do it. That's why, you know, the deen in Islam is the fitra, you know, is, is, is the deen of if nurture, because all what your body needs, what your nafs need, Allah will put it for you the way that is lawful for you to use and stay with, stay with connection with Allah ta'ala. That's why he make part for your nafs, part for your family, part for your visitors, part for your Lord. In a hadith, Sahih al-Bukhari, you know, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he made bro brotherhoods between the Sahabas, Muhajirin and Ansar. You know, Salman al-Farisi is, is not from Ansar, he's not from the people from Mecca, but he come from Sham. But Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam make brother, bro, uh, brotherhood between him and Abu Darda. He came to visit Abu Darda, he found his wife, scaleless, you know, the clothes she wear is nothing, it's not nice. He said, what, why are you doing this? Say, because your brother, he don't care, he doesn't care about this life. Your brother, Abu Darda. So Abu Darda was outside. When Abu Darda came, he bring food to invite Salman to eat. Salman said, okay, eat with me. He said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fasting. And Salman said, oh, you have to break your fast. If you don't break your fast, I'm, I'm not gonna eat with you. Of course, it's not obligation to fast. Because you know, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, sometimes he come to his house, ask, do you have something to eat? If they say no, he say, I'm fasting. So that means if he have something to eat, he will eat. Anyway, uh, Salman said, you have to eat. So he break his fast and he eat. In the night time, the beginning of the night, Abu Darda start, you wanna go pray. He said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to pray. He said, no, sleep. sleep. Then after a while he wanna wake up, he said, sleep. To the end of the night, he said, okay, wake up now, we can, we can sleep. We can pray, they pray. So when Abu Dada mentioned that to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, what your brother said is true. Inna li nafsika alayka haqqan. Wa li zawjika alayka haqqan. Wa li zawrika alayka haqqan. Wa li rabbika alayka haqqan. You know, your, 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 your nafs, your body have right on you. Your family have right on you. Your visitors have right on you. Your Lord have right on you. You know, he helped him to know how to balance. Of course, if you can't pray all the night and wake up in the morning and go do your work, it's good. The Sahaba, somebody described the Sahaba, he said, Ruhbanul Layli, Fursanul Nahab. They pray all the night and they are, they are the writer of horses in the days, like they pray the night and they walk the days. But if you go start all the night, maybe in the daytime you can do it. So he helped him to do, to, to balance because, but if you can't pray all the night, it's good. That's what Sheikh Ibrahim said in Tafsir. When he said, Kun, Kun Najman, he said, try to be like the stars. The stars all the night is they here. So if you can <coughs> Allah say we jan Lela and Nahara Hilfetan, Liman Arada and Yazakara or Arada Shukuran. It's look like Allah put morning and day just for mentioning Allah. So all other things we do, we just do it because we need it. 
but Allah make it just for to mention Allah. That is very clear because Ma khalaqtu al-jinn wa al-insa illa li'abuduna. I then created jinn and human being for anything except to worship me. So when Shaykh Ram said, when Allah said, I make night and days to replace each other for who want mention Allah or who want thank Allah to thank Allah also is a part of mentioning Allah so he said if you can't be like a star be like a star so stay all night praying فَإِنَّمْ تَسَّتِعْ فَكُنْ قَمَرًا if it's not easy for you to be like a star all night, you come, you be here, you, you pray some part of the night, like the moon is here, some part, and some part of the night is go, let's go. If you miss whole night, don't say I miss the night, it's the best time to mention Allah, so I don't have to mention it, no. Kun Shemsen, mention Allah in the daytime, like what Prophet Islam, whenever he miss, it's, it's Ahzab, what he used to do in the night, he will do it. He will do it in the daytime. You know, in his last Ramadan, you know, he used to make the Atikaf, the last 10 days. And he missed one Ramadan. That's why his last Ramadan, he make the middles and the last 10 days. So we have to educate it ourselves. Whenever we miss some of the good things we're doing, we try to make up it. Don't say I miss it. So I, I missed this zikr last night. So I wait tonight. If you can make up in the daytime before that, do it. So what Abu Dabda helping his Salman helping him to do, if you're strong enough to do all that, do it. But sometimes you can't say, oh. I will pray the beginning of the night. So in a time of Fajr, you fall asleep and miss Fajr time and miss all the night and pray Fajr with congregation is better than stay all the night making zikr and miss Fajr at the time. So to know all this, you, you, need, you, need, you need guidance. That's why he said the person need, you know, good companions to his journey to Allah Taala. He said, if you keep and respect all these duties, you come to be a righteous person. You come to be mustaqim. And mustaqim, that's what you ask Allah to be all the time. Edina sirat al mustaqim. Guide us to the right way. So if you come to be righteous, if you follow all this duty, you come to be righteous persons. Istiqama is the highest maqam of all the maqam of the awliya of Allah. Wa ta'ala. If you keep this characters, you don't have even problem, you don't have problem with the people because you will go also to respect what is belong to people, you give to them. In hadith, la tahasadu, don't envy, la tabagadu, don't hit each other, la tadabaru, don't, you know, go behind to look the secret of your brothers. Wala tenajeshu, tenajush is mean you found somebody try to buy something. So he pay 10,000. You come said, I pay 20,000 for him to add. And you don't, you don't want to buy. You just want him to, to lose his money or you just want your friend to uh, get benefit from him. And don't buy when your brother want to buy until you know that he's, he, he leave it. He said, Kunu ibadallah ikhwana. Be the, ser your, the whole servant of Allah. Be brothers. So mean to be a brothers 
mean you don't hit, hit each other, you don't envy each other, you don't, you know, use something that is belong to your brothers, you don't, you know, you don't, you know, take advantage on him. He said, Al Muslim Akul Muslim. Because Muslim is the brother of Muslim. Like what Quran said, in Namal Muminuna Ikhwa. Sometimes Muslim meaning can can be the same meaning of mumin. For Mawajana Pia Gaira Baitin, Minal Muslimina it means Minal Mumin. Do not disrespect him. He said it's enough evils for a man to despise his brother. It's enough evil for a man, if men and women is meaning. It's enough evil for a person to despise his brothers. Only this word put it in front of you can make you to give respect to everybody. And it's not lawful for you to leave your brother more than three days. Like even if he make mistakes, He said, even it's not good for you to leave your brother one moment. But when the Sharia know it's not easy for you sometimes, he give you three days. If you add more than that, that is big sin for you. He said, if you leave your brother more than one year, it's like you kill us, an innocent person. And Allah Taala said, if you kill the believers, your reward is hellfire. So just being in the nice way with your brothers. In a hadith, Allah will see. We look to people every Monday and Thursday. I will tell the malaika to write forgiveness for all his seven, except two person who have problem between them. And Allah will say, let them until they come together. That's why Sheikh said, indeed, it's obligation for you to have jihad in nafs, to fight the nafs, until you take it back to what please Allah, please Allah, Taala. He said, sometimes the majzub, she doesn't know the benefit of fast or benefit of salat or the benefit of hajj is obligation he said he said even if you don't if he if he doesn't understanding understand what is for he have to do it he said Sheikh Ram, he said to Majzub, he said, even if you don't know the benefit of this, all this ibadah, he said, me, I know it, and you will know it one day. So for you to be with Malawul A'la, to be in the presence with the, the highest positions of angels, and you have to 
do all this ibadah. It's like it's it's like your permission to to enter to Rafiq al Allah to go back to Allah wa Taala. It's not possible without make jihad fighting with your nafs. Jihad and nafs to fight the nafs. Shaykh Ibrahim said, Mujahada al Muridi, Sabruhu fil wajibati hatta yu adiyah, to have patience to do the, you know, to, to obey the obligation, to avoid the forbidden, to accept Allah decisions, even if, it's, if, 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 if you don't like it, you accept it. He said, When Allah Taala created, in the in, in the asr jami ulum hikam fi sharh 50 hadith that is when allah created nafs and created intellect he 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 asked the intellect who am i he said you are my lord and the rabbul akbar and I am your servants. But when he asked in the nafs, he said, you are you, I am I. Because he wants to put himself in Allah's ranks. He said, Allah said, put, put him, put it in the fires. They put it in the fire, thousand years, it's still the same. You are you, I am I. He said, okay, make them hungry. When they when they make it hungry, half of the day, Allah asked him, he said, you are my Lord, I am your servants. So sometimes you see people even in the jail, they happy and fight and do all kind of things. But when they hungry, they, you know, they, they, they walk, and they silence. That's why Allah use this sometime to call you to make to have to fast that will change your you know your characters. From this also the salat will change your character. The salat then her anil fasha will mukari. He said this is one of the hikaya because he said about the salahina they used to make. Tarbiyah with the Hikayat. He said, one of the kings, he owned all the world except one small place. He tried to own it several times for him to own, to own all the, the, the world. He couldn't reach to that. So after a while, He fight. He fight until he take that small place. He spent seven days. He couldn't eat. He didn't couldn't drinks. And he prepare one rooms. And he put all his belonging. And he put his matches. He put water. In the spoon of one of the dogs. And piece of bread. The guy who was trying to own everything, so the small kings, he beat him and put him in the, the room like that. After a while, he asked his 
seven to go to see him. They ask him to put him to the to to that rooms that they put some waters and even the water they put in the ducks cups. When they put him to that room, all what he needs to get that water to drink. So he was fighting to get to own all the world. So when there's the, the guy who owned the small place, he beat him and he put him in one place seven days and he prepared that small room with these waters and with the cups of the, you know, that even dogs used to use it. He asked to put him, to let him enter the rooms. When he entered the room, he go right away to take the water to drink. Then he take the piece of the bread and eat. And that small king who beat him, he said, why you don't take from this room? Because he put some mattress, some other things, even some nice things inside the rooms. He said, you didn't take anything, just water and this bread. He said, I don't need anything from dunya except this. This is what I need now. So the guy said, now you understand, piece of bread and cup of water is enough for you. So why you wanna fight for all these dunyas? It's enough for you. He said, if you free me, I will never fight with you again. Then he let him go. So she said, it's enough for everybody to have in dunya, piece of bread and cup of water. But people always, they want to get more and more and more and more. If you want to get more to help others, it's good. He didn't tell you that because he don't want you to, to, to try to get something. But he just want to show you that even if you get thousands of houses, all what you need is one house. If they bring to you every day thousand pieces of bread, you, you just need one piece. All this water, you just need small for this. So it's enough for you. So why you fight for something that is not for you? That is the, the meaning. So, but whatever you can do to increase the good things that you have, if you make sure that you will use it to please Allah Taala, that is not part of dunya. But if you have small things, use it for evils, that is dunya, and not only dunya is the bad things from dunya, because not all dunya is, is bad, because uh, dunya is a good right to the akhirah. If you use it for Allah, it will be for Allah. If you use it for shaitan, it will be worse than shaitan. Allah yuwafiquna lima yahibu yarda. ويدعو لمن يقلبنا المرضى ويؤمننا بالإيمان ويؤمن به ذريتنا يا الله increase our iman the iman of all our children 